Some might say this is Delulu, but I call it manifestation. Welcome to my book, Beauty Secret. I'm going to give you my guide to eczema skincare in the winter and just in general, and my everyday autumn full makeup. I'm just starting with my Laneige Vanilla Lip Mask. Love this stuff. I also love the Summer Friday Lip Butter, and I love the Ola Hendrickson Lip Butter too. Always have pretty much all three of them on me. I've just got some eye patches on from Patchology. I really like these ones. If you have eczema, you will most likely have really dry eyes, especially in the winter, so these really help. Just going to wash my face. <laughs> I have recently made a life-changing discovery and started using all Korean skincare products and oh my god, it has changed my life. I have eczema, sensitive skin, dry skin, very dry skin. This is the routine for you. I bought all of these products with my own money and they have changed my life. first product I use is the Anua Heart Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. I've never liked a cleanser like I like this one. I don't think, I've never really sworn by any cleanser before. I've tried so many cleansers, but none of them have really like changed my life. Like, especially because my skin is so sensitive, I always find so many cleansers really stripping, but not this one. We need to take off my eye patches. I follow this girl called Tatiana on TikTok and oh my god, her skin is literally insane and I was wanting to see what product she uses and she says that she uses all Korean products. So I was like, is this really worth the hype? Because her skin is literally, like I've never seen skin like that. She literally has a glass skin and when she uses this and she, oh. She uses this kind of oil. This is where I kind of got the idea from. This product really helps like get off like your dry patches. Also got some blackheads and pores around my nose and it really helps with them. The next product I use are toning pads. The ones I love the most are the newer Heart Leaf toning pads, but I literally ran, I just ran out. I have ordered more, they should be turning up today. I also sort between the COSRX Moisture Up Pad. These are so gentle. These just help like exfoliate your face, calm any redness, balance your skin. They add some hydration as well. Not like toners where they really strip your skin. I just used to always skip toner as well because I've always found it so stripping. I do like a milk toner, but I've tried a lot of milk toners and I prefer the toning pad still. The next product to go in is the Mix Soon Hyaluronic Acid, another K-Beauty brand. This is just gonna help lock in any moisture. Another product that I absolutely love is the Skin 1004 Madagascan Centella Apu. If you suffer with any redness in your skin, please try it. It's so good. It's really helped with any redness that I get from my eczema. It also just helps hydrate my skin. Next, I go in with moisturizer. Let me tell you about the Ceramide Concentrate Cream. I've bought all of these, I haven't been sent any of it, but please, Ilyun, if you see this, I love your cream and I would like a lifetime supply because I literally go through like two a month. This is the thickest cream I have tried. I have tried pretty much every single Exum cream I can that you can probably think of. This one is so gentle, it's never ever stung my skin. You know when you put on a cream and it like stings? I've never had that with this one. And then last but not least, I go in with SPF. This is the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Sun Cream. I make it my goal to wear sun cream every day. Like, I want to be that girl. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to do some makeup. I'm gonna do an everyday autumn makeup. I swear by the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint. I use the shade five. I prefer skin tints a lot more to foundations. I only like one foundation and that's the House Labs foundation. I find a lot of my makeup inspiration on Pinterest and honestly I find a lot of it on TikTok. I, was, I don't really have like a particular person that I look up to for makeup but I do love how Scandinavian girls do their makeup. I need to do like a detailed Scandinavian makeup tutorial because I followed this girl, I think her name's Victoria on TikTok. I followed her makeup tutorial and she lives in Stockholm, I believe. I would say my favorite concealer is the Kosas concealer because it's mixed with skincare. It hasn't got any like bad ingredients in. Also, Kosas is owned by a woman and I follow her on TikTok and I love her. It's really good for dry under eyes as well. Like it's one of the best concealers I found for my dry under eyes. That's the main reason why I love it. Day to day, I normally don't wear a lot of makeup. Like pretty much every day I wear blush. I will always wear a lip product. A lot of the time I wear like skincare as makeup. Like I've got this eye cream from, eye cream from Eborian. That's like a tinted eye cream and I will wear that every day. The next product I'm going in with is the Too Faced contour stick it oh my god it literally smells insane it smells like chocolate oranges it's so creamy and then i just use my hourglass brush to buff it out i started wearing makeup when maybe year six so when i was 11 but i would always use my mom's makeup before that like i would always go into her makeup bag honestly i would just take things so that but now she takes my makeup so but now i get to give a lot of makeup back to her so i'm sure she'll forgive me now now it's time for blush blush is my favorite makeup step i am loving road in sleepy girl also loving patrick tar oh she's different it's a very autumnal shade patrick tar she's blushing i'm gonna go in with road sleepy girl first gorgeous mauve shade I'm just editing this back and I realised that I didn't blend out one side of my nose contour. <laughs> I really hope that that's not like a regular thing that I do and I didn't realise. I've actually got a really exciting week this week. Tomorrow I'm going to a Sephora event with Glow Recipe and then Thursday I'm going to Tully's Farm. If you don't know what Tully's Farm is, it's like a Halloween scary, it's scary, kind of like a fright night, like where they, they've got actors and things and they've got mazes too when i tell you i'm like the biggest wuss i don't like scary films i don't like scary films i tried to watch jennifer's body last year and i literally couldn't even watch that i just don't find them enjoyable like i'm sorry i don't find i don't like suspense i go in with oh she's different as well fancy a bit more cream that's what i needed Next I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use the Hourglass Loose Powder. I'm going to use my Damp Beauty Blender for this. If you have dry under eyes, putting, putting powder on with a Damp Beauty Blender really helps. I tend to switch up a lot of powders that I use. I also really love the Huda Beauty Powder. I love the Charlotte Tilbury powders as well, but I actually broke mine the other day. I dropped it on the floor. Clean up under here with some powder. It gets to a certain time in the winter where I really have to wear like minimal powder because my skin will just be like way too dry to wear any powder. Next I'm going to use the powder from Oh She's Different. Next, I'm going to do some brows. I'm using the Benefit Eyebrow Pencil. Normally, I actually start with brows, but today I just didn't fancy it. Because I 
tint my eyebrows, I don't tend to have to do a lot to them. And then I just take my bronzer and I'll just go in with an eye eyeshadow brush and just go all over my eyelid and my crease, buffing that out just to give it really monochromatic look. Next, I'm going to do some eyeliner. This is the Too Faced eyeliner and it's a chocolate and it's a chocolate color. I really recommend swapping your, your black mascaras and black eyeliners to brown. It's so much softer. big eyes I love to go in with waterline. One beauty trend I don't like is white eyeliner. I don't like white eyeliner in the waterline. I don't know why it just triggers me. Next I'm using my Tweezerman eyelash curler. Tweezerman eyelash curlers are literally the best. Next I'm going in with my mascara. This is the Pillow Talk mascara in dream pop a brown shade and look at the difference mascara makes i'm gonna take any makeup off on my lips i feel like auto makeup is all about the blush and it's all about the lips so for my lip combo today i'm going to use hourglass in lip liner in temp 3 this shade and then on top I usually will always go in with like a gloss this is the summer Fridays in brown sugar this smells like I literally just want to eat it for the final step I use setting spray this is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray oh, I actually have a fan but I can't find it this is the final makeup look. I'm just going to take out these. The last step is always perfume. This is the Kiali Vanilla 28. I love this perfume. The top tip, always spray perfume in your hair and it will last all day. I will usually wear this with mixed with YSL Libra Intense. That's my favorite perfume as well. But I literally finished that yesterday, so I need to buy another one. And then I also love Gizu Hair Perfume. Sometimes I just wear this as a normal perfume as well because I love it. <laughs> Does anyone else always sneeze after they spray perfume? This is the final makeup look. Honestly, every time I wear makeup, I've been doing this look. I love it so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next Sunday. Thought. I also link all of my socials in the description.